Welcome back to Friday Night Frenzy. We know what you're here for right into the highlights. Holyoke squaring off against Agawamp. Holyoke cheerleaders excited for this one. Holyoke quarterback Javier Fernandez scrambles to the right. He's going to get some yardage there, moving the chains. And the mobile quarterback had a nice start to this one. He scrambles again, this time looking for his receivers downfield. He finds David Sicard in stride. Sicard moving the chains again. Nice momentum from Holyoke. Now a little trickery here. First it's Dimitri Gonzalez who gets the handoff and looks for a man. It's wide receiver Asa Allen behind the defense. 6-0 Holyoke. Agawam would get a score back and reclaim the lead. Brownies with the ball now. Quarterback Nico Nuzalili. Good pressure from Holyoke's Jaden Moquin. Quarterback is dropped for a loss. Nice play by the Purple Knights there. Now it's Agawam with the ball again. Nuzalini avoids the rush. He tries to find Sean Cole for big hit stick from Zeph Williams breaking up the pass. Nuzalili though. Would get an opportunity shortly thereafter. He passes it to Christopher Stellata, who's chugging down the sidelines. Oh, making guys miss, and he's playing with the white paint there. He will take this one all the way. Agawam would go up 14 to 6. The Brownies tack on a slew of second half points. Final score, 34 to 6. Agawam, Agawam, 2 and 0 this season. Now it's West Side traveling to comp. Colts fans hoping to see their team get their first win of the season. Picking this one up in the second half. Terriers up 19 to 6. It's Evanville Longo up the left side. He's going to get some yardage, making a man miss on the sidelines, turning it in. Uh, really great performance by the West Side running backs. Now it's Caleb Bradley this time on the left. He's going to get the first down chains and more. Time for another running back to get in the action. Why not? Donald Coloba, welcome to the program. He gets the handoff inside the 10. Very next play up the middle for six, increasing the West Side lead. And now Coloba, show us what you can do on the defensive side of the ball, big fella. He tracks down Calvin Kagan. It's a tackle for a loss there. Swarming him on both sides of the ball. West side backs could not be stopped tonight. Evan Villalongo now gets a good block on the right side of the line. And yeah, show the camera what you got there. My ball, touchdown, Villalongo. Another running back getting the mix. Sophomore Tommy Hurahan, why not? Why not? Fakes the handoff right. This time it's Hurahan who gets the ball right. He is chugging down. West Springfield leaves comp with a 41-6 win. Their first of the season. After a late comeback win over West Side, Minichog looking to improve to 2-0 against Tantasqua. Deep in their own territory, Minichog fakes a punt. Fourth down conversion try, unsuccessful here. Turnover on downs. Now it's Tantasqua running back Abner Colon Martinez. He had a big night tonight. Running it to the left side, gets some blockers. He's chugging, fighting through contact inside the five. Next play, Colon Martinez finds the end zone up the middle. 7-0 Tantasqua. So how would Minichog respond? They're fighting to make a stop. It's Liam Meeker and Alex Barthlett right at the goal line. They stop the back, but not for long. They give it back to Colon Martinez. Working the ball again. It's 14-0 Tantasqua. Chog looking to mount a comeback. What would they have in store? It's quarterback Jack Lucarell. He finds wide receiver Charlie Harton on the right side in the flat. Shakes a man, moves the chains, and then Lucarell. Huh. Folks, look at this play here from the freshman. He's going to take the snap, roll left, pass it into a sea of defenders. Good protection from his O-line. Somehow, Mick Harrigan shakes him off. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, yeah, he's running. 20, 15, 10, 5 to the house, although that is all Chog could muster. Scoreless in the second half. Final one from this one. Tantasqua, 14 to 7. At halftime of tonight's game, Minute Chog honored longtime public address announcer Art Tapaldi for 50 years on the microphone. The Falcons unveiled a banner to hang from the press box and passed out special Tapaldi rally towels to the student section. And for our player of the week, 